Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nations at War. Um, hold fast, Nations at War. It is a, as you can tell, a music simulator game, and oh god, <laughs> one, of, one of the musicians died. We shall keep keep his memory alive. Oh my god, what a what a start. Um, so here is the brave musician. I'm a, a Frenchman. And I shall take the bridge. Uh, hopefully, no one will shoot shoot a poor unarmed musician. Oh, uh, uh, and they shot they shot me. Oh my god! I think I think it was literally like a drummer that shot me as well. Okay, it's musician wars now. Um, so man, this is a Napoleonic era shooting game, and um, I, I kind of like say this kind of thing a lot, but. I love Napoleonics. Um, man, uh, I, I'm really super into Napoleonic era. It's one of my favorite favorite bits of history. And so I'm kind of a bit of a sucker, sucker for games. And this game just came out. I've been playing it for about 10 minutes and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna record some of this. And I'm, I'm glad I did. I get to be a musician. It's gonna be amazing. So I arm my flute. Oh, and then I get to choose a song. Let's, let's get some National Anthem going on. This will really, really rouse our troops. I don't think this is ever going to go wrong. Like, because you really shouldn't be aiming at a musician, should you? You should be shooting the guys with guns. Um, it's pretty bad form to shoot, shoot a musician. My god. Oh, 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 I can see, like, in the distance, there's a flanking force. Sneaking around the side, sneaky dogs. Maybe, maybe people don't like the pipe music. I think I can be a drummer instead. So I wonder, like, if the British, if they can have a bagpiper. Oh, so you've got like, you know, the Scottish, Scottish regiment. So it might be a thing. And we'll see. But I want to go and intercept this flanking force, and I'm going to sound the alarm with my pipe. Oh, shit! I think that guy was shooting at me. Okay, that guy was definitely shooting me. Oh, there was a rifleman as well. Those bleeding bastards. Okay, right. We're, we're gonna do it this time. We're definitely gonna gonna get in there. It's time to rouse our troops with the national anthem again. Okay, I think. I th oh, we stopped. Actually, do we? I, I think. I think we've got a fucking gun. Okay. I only do this because I will shoot at first. Oh, I, ca I, I can't do it. I'm gonna hide here and, uh, you know, embarrass them by play playing music. Oh, they're coming for me. <laughs> it's man it's a hard life being a musician no one everyone is a critic these days everyone's a critic okay we're gonna do it this time we're gonna clear the bridge I'm pretty sure oh god all the all the musicians bodies please please oh god oh this guy might not do it oh I don't think we're ever going to get across that bridge. Or at least we're not going to be able to solo it. My god. We need we need more musicians. Please. More musicians. Okay, so... Philippe Lepip is going into action again. I need some people to join my band. Peep, peep and the boys. Is that how you sell? Say, uh, say pipe in French? Maybe. Okay, okay, I can see. I can see a drummer. And is that another pipe boy? Oh, I'm a first person pipe. Okay, right. We're getting the band back together. Come on, guys. You must, your muskets are terrible at this range. You need to get in closer. 
come on. Okay. So we've got our drummer. Okay, look. Oh. We have to keep people keep the boys alive. Fuck. Okay, this time. This is the time that we do it. Okay, right. This is the time. Man. Philip Le Peep. Famed Piper from Calais to Marseille. We must take this bridge. <laughs> My god. Okay, right. We, we, let's try let's try like a real a real guy. Um who do you want? What's a carpenter do? do like a guard? Guards are cool. Okay, so now we're we're we we've, we've given up the musician's life. And we've decided to become a rifleman. What of Sharp's rifles. Man, oh. Have you ever read Sharp? Or have you ever seen Sharp? Oh my god. I love it. It was like the first time first time I was ever exposed to Sean Bean. And that's when I fell in love. But man, I used to used to watch it all the time as a kid. But it wasn't until like a little bit later when I realized. Damn. This is cool stuff. Oh, Napoleonics. It's, it's kind of to do with like, it's part of why I like Napoleonics is it, it's a r interesting time in history for like war and wars changed. War, war never changes, um, they say, but they, war, war did change and it kind of like became sort of like about maths rather than, it came about maths rather than um, sort of uh, just being just being badass. It's kind of like, you know, you know how guns, you didn't need like skilled people, it was just like numbers of people firing and how you combat that. I'm not explaining it very well. Um, just trust me. I know, I know my stuff. And yeah, so uh, it's kind of like an interesting period and especially like with the British Army, you've got like this really weird, um, how did I go to first person again? V? Okay, I'm telling them to aim higher. Uh, shit. So yeah, you you have kind of like um, you know, uh, a really really solid army that's mainly made out of criminals. Um, as oh shit. At the time, if you were, if you're sentenced to you know, uh, go to prison, instead you're allowed to join the army. And so the army's full of just just crims. Uh, a lot of people are like you know they have to do that otherwise they're gonna get years in prison or executed or something like that uh, or, or deported like or whatever it's called um, sent to sent to Australia this is one of the other things that might happen and so yeah you've got you've got all of these kind of like um, hardened and bitter lower classes and then you've got the sort of the elite um, like all of the officers are like the British aristocracy and a lot of them are like foppish boys that they they've bought their rank and so you could have Someone who's been like a seasoned veteran for years and years, but some 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 kid, his dad has bought him a, a higher rank in the army, and now he's in charge. And it's absolutely nuts that that's allowed to allowed to be a thing, because it it makes no sense, and it means that you get awful generals. But I, I like that kind of style of I don't know. You've got a really really good army, like the British army's like very well trained, and they're led by some of the worst people possible. So that's one of the reasons why I like, I like the Napoleonics. I also kind of like the scissor stone paper nature of, you know, cav, cavalry, um, like artillery and infantry. Uh, it's, it's, oh, I really like it. I, I, and I think it was like when um, Napoleon Total War came out. Like I kind of like didn't really care about Napoleonics that much. Because me and Ben, we used to play like war games together. And there was sort of like a running joke about, you know, the people that played Napoleonic games. We used to call them button counters because they were people that were very into how many buttons their, their models had. And so, like, never, never liked it before then. But then after playing Napoleon Total War and rewatching Sharp, suddenly I just got so, so hot for it. And this is. Cheese eating surrender monkey, amazing. Shit, man. Even even a fucking rifle's not that accurate. So like none of the none of the guns are very good in uh, 
Napoleonic eras. Especially like a musket. You've got like 50 feet of like range on that kind of with any any accuracy. With like a like a good like six foot spread. A rifle, a little bit more. I think like the longest Napoleonic era rifle shot was like I don't know, 500 feet or something. I might just be making that up. But he they shot like a um, an artillery crew member or something. And it like spooked everyone. As no one realized that that could, that could be a thing. Wait, are we actually like taking this? I need to reload. Oh, shit. Oh man, you, you super need to kind of like aim up. The drop off in these bullets is pretty, pretty savage. Okay, that guy. Oh, shit. Oh, look at this. We've got a proper line coming on. <laughs> okay, th this is kind of what you want from a Napoleonic battle. You want a big line of guys. We've got some we've got some banners. And a whole load of musicians. I kinda wanna kinda wanna get in like rank with with this dude. Oh shit. Okay, we're, we're drummer boy, or pipe boy, turned gun, gunman. Where are we? Where are we even aiming? Over there? We, we missed. We're attacking the beaches. Oh my god, the, the fucking boat just took a straight hit. Um, wow, there's a lot of French in that fort, and just me charging towards it. I think this is going to go bad for... Um, I guess I guess I'm hornblower now. We were, we were sharp before, and now I'm hornblower. Ooh, I wonder if we can actually smash smash their walls. I really hope so. Oh fuck! Oh, this is so bad. Oh. 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 Okay, we're just gonna have to do it. Oh, it's bayonet wars. Oh, oh god. Oh, and my friend, my first mate, he died. Okay, we're gonna get them this time. The fortress will be ours. Okay, right. Who's in charge of this tub? I think you're going the wrong way, friends. Oh, here we go. And. I surrender. Blammo? Does that work? Maybe. Don't shoot the violinist. I never would. Oh man, poor musicians. Okay, right. Once more into the breach, old chaps. Let's give them a cheer. Or a... Take cover! Enemy vessel sighted, sir! Okay, right. We're gonna do this. Oh, nice. Do you see that guy just get iced? Okay. Oh, I got iced. Commander Cockwhacker. Feared French general. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, there is a breach. We've, we've literally breached the walls. Okay, right. Now's the time. Okay, right. We're going in. Into the breach. They'll never be able to stop us. Oh, God. Apart from with all the bullets that they're firing. Oh. Come on. Oh, we got one. Oh, and then we got sliced. Hear the sword. The sword was too fast for us. Okay, we've, we've taken the other places. We have the... Uh, objectives. And there's a hole in their fucking wall. Oh, take that. I think that guy's a drummer, but he was trying to shoot us, so... Oh, oh, shit. Okay, there were dudes there. Oh. Shit, are they sinking our boat? We need that. That's where I, that's where I live. So, they sank our little boat. And now here I am... Sailing my little boat. <laughs> I'm gonna take it back. 
It's a lonely life being a being a seaman. Oh, oh no, it's not. I've got friends, boat friends. So we're just gonna like ram this straight in into their castle, or oh, well, as close to their castle as we can get, and uh, hope hope for the best. Oh, shit! The bed. We got hit right on the prow. Do not want. Oh. Oh shit, Booty. Booty took us so far, and now you're now you're dead. Oh god. Oh, take that, you French dog. Oh. Oh shit. So attacking the castle was not working, and it looks like we've only got one thing, one thing left to do. The legend of Philippe Le Pipe. Great, great Napoleonic hero. Thank you, Philippe. You will always be in our hearts.